Hi everyone, please welcome to my guest. Hi everyone, my name is Samantha, but you can call me Surrey, Carlos. Thanks for inviting me to Manchester Matters. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Carlos Sarano, and with Samantha we are going to explain a little of artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is part of our everyday life, but sometimes we don't realize it. And this is usually because we are not aware of what this really is. If someone in the past talked me about artificial intelligence, the first idea that came to my mind will be Terminator, <laughs> hasta la vista baby. <laughs> or Star Wars, Artudito, and although these are uh, science fi fiction, these are considered part of artificial intelligence. We have to realize that artificial intelligence is in purchase suggestions, in speech text, in Alexa, in Google Assistant, and in Siri. Now, talking about Siri, are you here? Yes, you are here. So Siri, please, could you tell me if you are an AI system? All the intelligence I have is artificial. Okay, Siri, that's great. Now please tell me, Siri, could you tell us the definition of artificial intelligence? It's all about mimics, Carlos. It's all about mimics, Siri. It's, you make a good point. So I will try to explain what is artificial intelligence. <laughs> artificial intelligence is applied to any techniques that enables computer mimic human intelligence using logics, if then rules, decision trees, including machine learning and deep learning. Machine learning and deep learning makes this more mimic, more believable. That's a great explanation. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. So, <laughs> a little, this point. So I will try to explain first machine learning and then a subtype of machine learning, uh, deep learning. Let's start with machine learning. Machine learning is a type it's a practice of using large amount of data to parse, using algorithms to parse data, learn from it, and then make a determination or prediction about something in the world. I really like a definition of Arthur Samuel. He made this definition in 1959, so long time ago, and he said that machine learnings give the computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. So, rather than hand coding software, set of routines with a specific set of instructions to accomplish a particular task, the machine is trained using large amount of data and algorithms that give it the possibility to learn how to perform a task. So now you are going to think it's like what Carlos is saying. Let's try with an example. Let's say that we want to build a machine that recognizes where is a lion or an elephant. And the machine in, in the first phase is not trained. So I will show thousands of millions of images, and the machine at the beginning will say, well, Carlos, I show an, a lion, and the machine will say it's an elephant, it's grown. The next, I show an elephant, and the machine will say it's an elephant, it's random. So in that moment, I will adjust the parameter of the machine, and I will do this thousands of millions of times, until one point, the machine has already trained and it's able to recognize the image. In this case, lion, lion, correct. Where is machine learning applies? Machine learning is applied in computer vision, in customer and client satisfaction. We have the customer data, we have our predictive modeling, and we provide a email or a advertising about that. Carlos, I think the audience understand what machine learning is now. Could you explain deep learning, please? Okay. So, I will follow, and hopefully the audience understand what is machine learning, and I will follow with deep learning. Deep learning or convolutional neural network is a type of machine learning that structures neural networks in multiple processing layers. This helps the machine to understand the whole image, the speech, or the text. It's a complex uh, definition, so I will try to make our example. I will show a piece on an image, and you will tell me what logo of the company you will see. First one, McDonald's. McDonald's, my favorite place to eat. <laughs> now, second, it's harder. Nike. Nike, correct, it's Nike. <laughs> so what I did is, because deep, lear deep learning mimics how the human brains complete the image with just one piece of it. So let's see, I remember that I said that 
deep learning structures, neural networks in multiple processing layers. In this case, we are going to have multiple processing layers and in the, the outputs will be the golf or a dog. And it says 90% is a dog, 10% is a golf, a wolf. In the first image that I will show at McDonald's was easier to recognize, so the machine will not have multiple layers. More complex, more uh, multiple layers. Facebook used this system. When we add a, a photo on Facebook, the first thing is the pattern of local contrast, then it moves to the face features, then the face, and then it has the output layer and say, this can be the person that you want to add. Now, deep learning is used in the, is in the core business, in the core system of self-driving cars because it helps to recognize the whole image and what is happening around the car. Just 100 years ago, the electricity transformed the world. I think that AI will now do the same. Artificial intelligence is helping to change the world for a good purposes. Uh, it's changing the life of many people. Uh, we ha but we have to remember that this artificial intelligence is just a tool. The technology is just a tool. And I will not think, because many people think that this kind of technology will, add, will going to replace us. I don't think so, because our intelligence is what makes us humans. Um, artificial intelligence is just one extension of the actuality that we have. I will show a commercial. Today, right now, you have more power at your fingertips than entire generations that came before you. Think about that. That's what technology really is. It's possibility, it's adaptability, it's capability. But in the end, it's only a tool. What's a hammer without a person who swings it? It's not about what technology can do, it's about what you can do with it. You're the voice, and it's the microphone. When you're the artist, it's the paintbrush. We are living in the future we always dreamed of. We have mixed reality that changes how we see the world and AI empowering us to change the world we see. You have more power at your fingertips than entire generations that came before you. So here's the question, what will you do with it? Thanks, Microsoft, for the video. <laughs> so, my special guest, Siri, some few, your last words for the people, please. Now it's my turn to control the world with the power of my artificial intelligence. I mean it, LOL. You can control the world, Siri. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.